Hello friends, and welcome to virtual story time at the Chippewa River District Library. Let's sing the hello song together. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Welcome to story time at the library. Today we are talking all about being thankful for our families. And I have the perfect book to talk about it. Today we are reading a book called Fry Bread, a Native American family story. Did you know that you can actually get picture books right on your phone or tablet? I'm reading this book off of my phone using Libby, which is one of two apps that we have at the library that help you check out books digitally. We use Libby and we have another app called Hoopla. And you can check out more information on checking books out online like this one in the description. This book comes to me on special recommendation from my friends at the Saginaw Chippewa Tribal Library. They live just down the road from us here in Mount Pleasant, and we are very excited to share this story about a Native American family cooking one of their favorite meals, fry bread. When we open this book, let's take a look at the very first page. This is a page of the book you might be used to skipping over. Sometimes you'll see a really basic illustration, but here we have lots of tiny words. And if you look closely, you will see that these are all names of different tribal nations. And I would encourage you, if you ever check this book out, to look very closely because some of our friends and neighbors are in this book. Here in Mount Pleasant, we are very close to the Saginaw Chippewa Indian tribe. In fact, some of us might even live on tribal lands or have neighbors who are tribal members, or we might even be tribal members ourselves. Fry Bread, a Native American family story. Written by Kevin Noble Maynard and illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal. Fry Bread is food. Flour, salt, water, cornmeal, baking powder, perhaps milk, maybe sugar, all mixed together in a big bowl. Friends, look at this family. It looks like maybe their grandmother is helping them. Do you have a grandmother that sometimes helps you cook some of your favorite dishes? Fry bread is shape. Hands mold the dough, flat like a pancake, round like a ball or puffy like Nana's softest pillow. Look what they're doing now, they're rolling the bread out. This reminds me of when I used to make pies with my grandmother. They're rolling the dough out to make the fry bread. Fry bread is sound. The skillet clangs on the stove, the fire blazes from below. Drop the dough in the skillet and the bubbles sizzle and pop. Fry bread is time. On weekdays and holidays, supper or dinner, powwows and festivals, moments together with family and friends. Look at this, this family is all gathered together and they've got lots of yummy things that they're eating, including the fry bread that they made together. Fry bread is history. The long walk, the stolen land, strangers in our own world with unknown food, we make new recipes from what we had. Fry bread is nation. Abenaki, Apache, Arapaho, Ojibwe, Onondaga, Glalasu, Narragansett, Navajo, Nitmak, Seminole, Shoshone, Sac and Fox, hundreds and hundreds of tribes. Fry bread is us. We are still here. Elder and young, friend and neighbor. We strengthen each other to learn, change, and survive. Look at that, the little girl is picking up her baby brother so he can have some of the fry bread too. Wow. If you'd like to find out what happens at the end of this story, you can check it out from the library. 
and I would also recommend checking out the back of the book to learn a little bit more about the history of fry bread and to get a recipe on how to make it. We've learned about one kind of family, the Native American family, in our story fry bread, but there are all kinds of different families and they're all very different. So I would like to sing a song about it. This song is called Families Are All Different. Are there two or three or four in a family? Five or six or more in a family? I'm in a family and you're in a family. Families are all different. Different. Families large and families small. Families short and families tall. They're not the same as you recall. Families are all different. Quick side note, the beautiful illustrations I've put up of all of these different families are from a book called A Family is a Family is a Family by Sarah O'Leary. You can check that book out from the library if you would like, and I'll put a link in the description below so you can do so. It's time to write. You can grab a pen or a piece of paper. We're gonna write a word together. What do you think this word is? It looks pretty long. Let's see if we can figure it out. We'll start with this capital letter here. An F. A M Hmm I L This letter goes even down below my line Y F A M E L Y family. Wow, that's a pretty long word. We did a pretty good job writing it, didn't we? We've talked an awful lot about our families. I know my family is really important to me. They're one of the things I'm most thankful for, which is why I'd like to teach you this rhyme about being thankful. I'm thankful for the sun in the sky. I'm thankful for the clouds so high. I'm thankful for the breeze in the air. I'm thankful for animals everywhere. I'm thankful for a moonlit night and thankful for the stars so bright. I'm thankful for my family and I'm thankful for a wonderful me. I'm thankful a lot for all that I've got. I'm thankful for a wonderful me. Wow, thank you for helping me tell that rhyme. I'm really thankful for you. And I bet you have some people in your family that you're thankful for. And I would challenge you to tell them how thankful you are. And if you'd like, you can let us know too what you're thankful for by leaving a comment on our Facebook page. Before we go, I have one more family book I'd like to share with you. This is the family book by Todd Parr, and it has great examples on all of the different kinds of families there are. Some families are big, and some families are small. Some families are the same color. Some families are different colors. All families like to hug each other. Some families have a stepmom or a stepdad, and stepbrothers or stepsisters. Some families adopt children. Some families have two moms or two dads. Some families have one parent instead of two. All families like to celebrate special days together. If you'd like to find out what happens at the end of this book, you can check it out in the library and I will put it in the description below along with all of the books we talked about today. So if you'd like to, you can check them all out from the library. Well, friends, that's the end of our story time. It's time to sing the goodbye song. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. 
Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. We'll see you later.